Here is a regular sized blood worm right here, okay? Pretty standard. Now here are the blood worms that we're using today. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So, we've been using blood worms a lot this season. I know you've guys seen it a lot, but this time we're talking about something special. These are regular blood worms. We've been using these just about every time. I want to see if this will catch bigger fish because we've been catching so many little small dinks and a lot of schoolies, but maybe a bigger presentation will attract a bigger fish. We'll see. So, blood worms are found in like northeastern uh, America. Uh, you see it a lot in Maine, and you see it a lot in Maryland, Delaware. Bloodworms are the go-to bait around this area. Now if you take a look, bloodworms are completely like filled with blood. When I cut this open, it's going to squirt gut, like blood everywhere. You see those in there? Those are teeth. They'll pinch down on you. It'll pinch down on you. You see? You see them? Oh my goodness. And it's, I think it's got some kind of venom because I've been bitten by it before and it starts burning like crazy. Oh man, this is a big one. I would not want to get bitten by this one. Comment below if you want to see this bite me. Right in the Peter. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Alright. <laughs> Last time we were here, I missed out on an enormous fish. The fish that we've been hunting for. And today, I've upgraded my hooks to much bigger hooks, six aught Gamagatsu circle hooks. Much bigger than my, my last one. What had happened last time is I think that that hook was too small. I was using a size two aught hook, circle hook. And that fish was just a mighty fish. It was too small of a hook. So I'm gonna upgrade. So now the way I put on bloodworms is I feed it through just like this. Oh, you see those teeth? Whoa. Okay, goes in. Oh shoot, blood everywhere. And I just keep feeding it through like that. And then I leave a little tail end off like this. And there we have it. That's our bait for today. Um, so I'm using the high-low rig, but except instead of two hooks, to save money, um, we're only doing one hook so that we don't use all of our bait in one second. Um, you can learn how to tie this rig. Check out our Senko Skipper store. We have a bunch of different tutorials, stuff like that. Uh, if anybody needs help, check out our store. So I'm gonna give this a cast now. And I've been having luck casting it really far out there. Now it's a waiting game. Probably gonna end up hitting a bunch of shorts before hitting anything of size. Oh! Hey. This is a pretty good sized perch. Dinner. Oh my goodness. So we, we really only keep the fish that we're gonna eat. We're, we don't usually keep a whole bucket full of perch because you know, I don't usually gut a whole bucket full of perch. I don't want to. And uh, you know, if you're not gonna eat it, throw it back. Swam toward you? No, it's not a big one. Just wishful thinking. If this is a catfish, it's a really bad sign. Oh! Not a catfish. Strike. That's a good sign. A lot of this size. Look at that! 
<laughs> Thank you, Uncle Bill. Getting bigger. They're here. Let's find a bigger one. Let's find them. There we go. What'd you guys think? <laughs> Everyone's pretty happy. All right, let's get on another one. Oh, this is a decent one. Be careful, careful the rocks are slippery. Uncle Bill, careful the rocks are slippery. Very, very slippery. What? <laughs> okay. That was on it the whole time. Didn't even know. Catfish. Brendan. Sorry. I didn't know you were behind me. It's two times now. All right, no shortage of catfish. So we decided that we're staying through the night. Forget the storm, we're still staying. We've got shelter here, we've got food. I'd try to get on one of these big fish. And if this, if this is what it takes, then so be it. Oh, turn your light off. I saved turn the- Turn your bite off. I thought it was. No. There. I saved the biggest one for last. Look at this sucker. <laughs> oh my God. This is gonna provide me some pretty good bait. Oh, I got really <sighs> This is not even gonna fit on this hook. Oh, yes. If this doesn't land me a big, a big old fish, I don't know what will. Look at how much worm I got left. Look at how much worm I got left. Oh my goodness. No, it's moving its head. This is a big one. It's moving? Yeah. It's shaking? This is a big one. Tell me he's not a catfish. It's a catfish! Look at that big old cat. Whew. That juicy, this was the big juicy bloodworm. Bigger fish. Oh my God, yeah. For sure bigger. Whew. Blue cat. Look at that. That's a nice one. Okay, I'm gonna release him. I don't want him. I can already see worms on him. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture. It's probably a little tiny catfish. No, it's a white perch. These are white perch. Guys, we gotta go. It's raining and it's thundering and when thunder's roaring, I gotta go. So here's my consensus. The jumbo bloodworms worked great, but so do regular bloodworms. But so do regular bloodworms. Regular bloodworms work just the same. It's just nice to have them really large. It's nothing too special. Um, it, it puts a lot of meat on the hook, but I noticed that it didn't catch me any 
it wasn't catching me particularly bigger fish. It was just catching me fish. And it would stay on the hook a little bit better. Um, oh yeah, that's a good con, that's a good pro. It would stay really well on the hook, um, and it would stay for a while. For some reason, those bigger ones seem like they're a little bit tougher than these little ones. But I really gotta go. Uh, it was nice talking to you guys. Thank you guys for watching us fish. Um, oh shoot, this light was on the whole yeah, time? Yeah, it looks fine. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us. You guys should check out our official Sanko Skipper store. We've got a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, it's in the link in the description below. Check it out. See you guys next Thursday.